Good afternoon, good evening, or good morning. Again, whenever it is that you're watching this. This is from the heart of Pastor Todd. Here are a few announcements and in the information items that we would like to share with you. We have just finished our Bible study on Enoch, Elijah, and Jude. We just finished. It was a four-week study. Um, what is going to be coming out this coming Tuesday is just going to be a one-night thing. It's, it's an encourage, encouraging kind of study, and uh, we wanted to do that because uh, I believe that we all need a little encouragement right now. And so uh, it's going to be coming out. And so then the next week, we would like to start some kind of new study. And I would like your help in deciding how to go. We could take on um, a study of something like, like we did with the previous Bible study. Um, it could be something about the events of what's going on in the world today. Uh, it could be something like that, or it could be questions. Now, now let me let me just kind of share with you what I mean. Do you remember the other night when I put out a message, and I shared with you on that message about the cloth that was covering the face of Jesus uh, when they put him in the tomb? Do you remember when they? Uh, was there on Sunday morning and they said that the other grave clothes were tossed aside but the covering that was over his face was folded very nicely and was laid back down where the body of Jesus was why why would that be folded and the others cast aside now I won't get into that because like I said we had put that on the message the other night Maybe you have an idea. And we ask that you please would contact us and give us ideas. If we get enough questions, maybe we could do like two questions uh, each Bible study. I would love to be able to do that. I would love to be able to answer questions or, or talk about things that you have a concern about. Love to be able to do that. So please get back in touch with us. Also, we would like to uh, also let you know that we have had a lot of people let us know that they would really like to have more scripture reading. So what we're going to begin doing is we're going to, on Thursday, when the From the Heart of Pastor Todd is posted, it will also have on there the scripture that will be concerning the sermon for that weekend. We're also going to put this out there so that you can read up and you can know where we're going on the weekend with the sermon. So here is our scripture for this week. The book of John, chapter 8, verses 1 through 11. John, chapter 8, verses 1 through 11. Deuteronomy, chapter 22, 22 through 29, 22, 22 through 29, and then Matthew chapter 18, verses 21 through 35. Matthew 18, 21 through 35. Read up so you'll be ready to know where we're going this weekend when we look into the sermon. Uh, just a quick word about our post. Uh, we have been on the past two days, we have been on a Zoom call, which is a video call with the district. All the pastors are on there. Uh, our district superintendent is on there. And what they're trying to figure out is how we can do some form of counting. Uh, it's not going to be the same, but what they're asking is that we get more of an accurate count of um, on how many people are actually watching the post that we're putting. And so what we ask that you do with the sermon and the Bible study is we ask that if you would, as you begin to watch it, click on the comments 
and just say, hey, Pastor Todd, and then write how many are actually watching it. If, if it is a husband and wife, or if it is a husband, wife, and kids, or if it's a husband, wife, and kids, and grandkids, just kind of write a number there. But what I also want you to start doing is commenting on the Bible study and commenting on the sermon. Maybe something is said that spurs a question. I would love to come back and, 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 and answer your comments and answer your questions. I would love to be able to do that. And so if you could help us out by doing that. Also, we're hoping as we were talking today on our district calls, we were talking today about opening our churches again. Uh, it's not quite time to do that, but we're hoping maybe by the 1st of May that we would be able to do that and have our district's approval. Um, we have been told that we need to realize that people are watching us as the church and we need to set a good example. And so if people are being told to stay away uh, because of the stay-at-home order and the social distancing, then the church should be the first one obeying that. Um, some churches that have very few uh, get together, um, but churches that have a full parking lot, uh, it kind of sends out the wrong message. And so... We're asking that you please be patient. We will start back church just as soon as we possibly can. But there is one thing that I want to share with you. We're going to continue to try to post sermons, especially. Maybe even a Bible study. We're not sure. But we really like the fact that we're able to reach people that are sick, that can't attend church that Sunday. We like the fact that if somebody is at home and they can't attend or they're out of town, they can watch. And so we're going to have to work on that, but we're hoping to be able to continue that. And that is also a suggestion coming from our district leadership. And so these are just a few uh, questions, uh, just a few uh, things that we wanted to share with you here this evening. But what I would like to do is I would like to leave you this evening with a devotion that I read today. The title of this devotion is The Hairs of Your Head. Matthew chapter 10, verses 29 through 31. Are not two sparrows sold for a penny? Yet not one of them will fall to the ground apart from the will of your father. And even the very hairs of your head are all numbered. So don't be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. Have you ever been in a stadium surrounded by thousands of screaming fans? Did you wonder how God could possibly know every person there? It is pretty mind-boggling. There are billions of people in the world, and the Bible says that God knows everything there is to know about every single one. We might consider our lives insignificant in the global scheme of things, but Jesus would disagree. In fact, he made a point of showing the disciples just how intimately the Father knew them. Tiny and weak, sparrows, sparrows are among the least important creatures on earth. Their lifespan is so short, who would even notice when it's over? God does. If that is true, God is more, cap more than capable of loving each and every person he has created. In case his friends still didn't get it, Jesus went on. God even knows the number of hairs on your head. The truth is, God knows us better than we know ourselves. God doesn't see us as a massive crowd. He sees and loves each of us individually. 
The disciples were going out to a hostile world. They would deal with dangers and evil people. They would be mocked and threatened. They would even be face to face with demons. Jesus wanted to assure them that their heavenly father was in control, that he loved each one of them and that he was watching over them. The promise is for, the promise is for you too. Don't ever assume you're just one of the crowd or that God isn't intimately acquainted with your life. You are precious to God. He knows everything about you. He loves you more than you know. You can trust him with your life. I hope that each of you have a wonderful remainder of this week. And don't forget, check out these scriptures as it leads in to the sermon for this weekend. I hope that each of you have a wonderful evening. I love and miss you all.